Hello everybody, Damo Freeman. Recently I was in Warren, Ohio, as the Ohio State Troopers were conducting a shield operation. This operation's goal was to get drugs off the streets after they've had a number of overdoses in the city. The video you are about to see is unedited, and it's a short conversation that I had with a few state troopers, uh, as well as Jason Morrison, who tagged along for the ride. Check it out. Why is that? No, just all of us out here. Why is there so many out here today? No, 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 no. It's the city of Warren out here. That looks like one too. Two of them actually. Yeah, those are investigators. Yeah. So many cops in town tonight. Working a shield detail. There should be like a medium release. Um, yeah, I looked for something. I didn't find anything. There was a news channel. Uh, Youngstown, they were riding with two of our guys yesterday. Uh, there should be a media release. Uh, actually, if you go to the Warren Post, you know that's at? Uh, I can find it. Southern 10, 422. Uh, okay. We have a media yeah. officer there. And, uh, there uh, there's a release that can give you. We have uh, opiate uh, counselors down at the, uh, at the post. What it's there for is we had seven or eight overdoses last weekend. So it's a basically a conversion from the city to try to clean up. The so what are like what are your guys' directives or like orders? Uh, I don't have any directives or orders. It's just well, I mean, like you said, it's like a shield program, right? Yeah. And so, like, what does that mean? Like, will you guys like? There's just going to be an increased presence, a higher patrol. Yeah, will you just, stop more vehicles? Just, just an increased police presence in a problem area, which they determine due to the overdoses. That's really it. You guys, if you want, feel free to go down there and they'll answer any questions you have. We got media releases. I'll check it out. We'll also be out here just filming, making sure that. I know you guys have a problem, and sometimes when they're trying to solve a problem, they create other problems. And so maybe you know we don't have to pull over everybody. I just witnessed another state trooper pull over. He cut a, he cut me off, and another guy to pull over a guy, and that didn't seem like. You know, if, if his if his same goal is yours to get drugs off the street, that doesn't seem like getting drugs off the street is safe. But it doesn't seem like it's a good idea to like make more motorists endangered to be safe. Not the best idea. Yeah, probably the best idea. But uh, that was just that one example. So yeah. whatever. And like I said, they're we'll be out up here all weekend long. So. All right, cool. Well, here's a car. One of our cards, coplock.org. Yeah, if you want, there's one of our investigators. You can talk to them. Oh, cool. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. How are you? How are you today? Good, you? Huh? Kinda, you guys want a card too? You guys heard of coplock.org? No, even... actually I heard it, yeah. 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 It's, uh, we just film the police, advocate knowing your rights, and some folks called and said there was a whole bunch of cops in town today. And so he, this nice officer, Pickett, was just telling me how you guys are here on an initiative to rid the city of drugs today. Well, we're or at just, least yeah, it's a saturation control basically. So, but that just means you're going to saturate the area, right? Like yep. you're not like just going to pull people over for no reason or anything, we right? Yeah. No, that's unconstitutional. Okay. You know, have to have reason or problem to cause. Yep. So, the rumor that we heard about there was a supposedly an executive order signed. You got to be careful with rumors. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not, I mean, I'm well, that's why we're trying to straighten it out. Yeah. Yeah, because we heard that they supposedly signed an executive order stating that you guys can just stop, search, see, detain anybody you want. No, so we just wanted to confirm that. So this is just Ohio? This isn't like uh, federal agencies or anything? You can't search That's part of the program. Rights, okay. We're handing these out to you it's for opiate awareness. What's your, uh, what's your name, sir? Okay. Thank you. Those are for, those are the pamphlets we're handing out. It's about, uh, if anybody knows anybody, you can just, uh, possibly involved in drugs. It says, you know, what, what to look for for signs of, like, if you're a parent or your kids doing drugs. Okay. This is what we look for. It also has opiate awareness stuff for, uh, so you said there's like some counselors down there and stuff. Yeah, is yeah, that is so? If, if we arrest anybody on a, uh, a drug related, opiate related offense, they got counselors there to help them try to get in the right, right direction. So that's in lieu of going to jail or uh, as part of? It's, it's, part, it's part of. It's part of. And obviously, if you're arrested, you have drug with you. Uh, yeah, you the system does its thing. But now you have counselors there to say, hey, maybe you got a problem, buddy. Maybe this is we can put you through a treatment program. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see much more with the uh, war on drugs is as opposed to punishments or like taking of things is that you get the people who need help help and the people who want to use a recreational use, well, like hopefully we can just stop criminalizing that. You know, uh, I see a lot of empty stores around here. Colorado seems to have a biz busy booming uh, 
industry with their legalization of some drugs. Right. Now, At least as hear, a start. Did you hear about the police chief? Uh, I forget what state it is that where he uh, is ordering his guys to no longer arrest anybody for uh, drug charges. And instead of doing that, what they're going to do is they're going. He's actually just going to go ahead and help them seek counseling because he believes that the drug uh, drug uh, drug war is a failure, and he's tired of. Uh, Put yeah. his jail a population of it, so he can resources, resources, money, and all yeah, that. So, have you heard about that or any comment about that? He's no longer going to arrest him for that. I haven't heard. I don't know. I haven't heard about okay, you can go. You guys support any initiatives like that to like scale back the war on drugs? I don't know. <laughs> You're talking to peons here. Not You're the, that's, that's well, yeah, but you would. I mean, like, you know. I, yeah, I've had some jobs where I've like, hey, this might be a better way to do this after having that job for a while. I don't know if maybe you had some similar thoughts. I think that's a, everybody's own decision on what's the best way to do it. Well, that's what I believe, that it's my body, it's my choice, that like nothing really should be illegal if I want to put it in there. Now, like, if I smoke meth or heroin and like cause harm to somebody, we already have laws against harming people. My state of mind really shouldn't matter. But, uh, and it's not, a, it's also not a justification, like, just, you know, if you harm somebody because you were high isn't an excuse, it doesn't justify that. What about so. scaling back on victim, uh, victimless crimes? I mean, do you believe that there's an overrun of people that are incarcerated for being, vic you know, for victimless crimes, anything like that? Victimless crimes, but I don't know, you'd have to talk to your legislator about that. I mean, well, I was just asking what you're Or we about. could talk to our legislators, because a lot of cops say that to me. They're like, you guys should run for office, or you should do this. Well, how about we do that? It's the power of the vote. You know, you have to get out and vote for yeah. people that represent your, your thought process. Your well, idea. people have been voting for a really long time. It doesn't seem like things have changed much. You can change a lot for Okay. Vote. Did you hear about the test that they ran? They actually uh, ran a, uh, a, uh, an analysis on it stating that if cops refrain right, from guys. taking people... Take care. We'll see you around. You got the, the cost of taxpayers, that money would actually go, they were talking about, in, uh, to help police with better, better gear, things like that, and stuff like that, for not putting people in jail for victimless crimes, because it cost us more to, to hold them, detain them, the process, and everything else, than what they're going to go through when they do their little 10 days, and the fines don't even amount to it, but they're right. saying they can use that money to actually better train officers, get more officers on the street. Like yeah. I mean, do you agree with that? I, you know, I don't know enough about it. Okay. Well, I mean, do some research, Johnny. Yeah, on that card I gave you, there's a, on coplock.org, there's a Welcome Leos page uh -huh. that gives a lot of resources of, like, what some other either current and or former law officers have given or, like, uh, law enforcement's against prohibitions pages there and right. other resources. So if you're ever interested, you can check it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm Jay. I'm with Pinnack News Media also. So. Okay. So, yeah. Ron Schneider. Nice, nice to meet you guys. What's yep. your name? Okay, you guys be safe out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see you guys around, around tonight. All right. Take care.